Hey everyone, I got a problem with my Vanagon Idol. Take a listen to this. So here you can see the idle just goes up and it stays high, but you know what? Sometimes it'll even vary. Take a listen to this. So I'm going to show you what the problem was, and you know what, it's a really cheap fix. So that's what's important because we don't want to spend a lot of money on our vans. So let me show you what it was. So first things first, we're going to pop the rear hatch now. To be honest, I don't even know if you have to pop the rear hatch because we're going to be taking out uh, the right rear tail light, and you might be able to get access to it with the hatch closed, but I'm just not sure. But anyway, I like popping the hatch, so anyway, that's what I did. Uh, you can let me know if, if it works for you or whatever. Anyway, there's four bolts you'll see here on the light. So we're just gonna remove those four bolts. We're gonna pull the light right out. Once we reach behind here, you'll see here's the idle control unit for the Vanagon. So this is actually the faulty part. And then we're gonna take it apart and I'm gonna show you the faulty part that's actually in it that can be replaced. So first things first, you gotta get your screwdriver and you gotta wiggle it apart, take your time. Sometimes these pins can be very sticky. So just don't force anything. Just take your time and you'll be all right. Now here you can see I finally got it apart. There's a quick freeze frame and you can see the bottom part is actually even pulling out. That's how uh, hard I had to pull on it. But anyway, we're gonna take it apart a little bit later and we're gonna you know, show you what's inside and what actually needs to be fixed. But there's the unit, I'll leave it up for a second. So if anyone wants a part number or something like that off it, that's what came out of my Vanagon. I do have a spare replacement part right here. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly install this part. This one I know is a good working part because it worked uh, it worked before, so it should work again unless uh, something else is bad in it. But just make sure you line up the connectors. Uh, make sure, here you go, we got it backwards there. But anyway, let's just line them up. Snap it together and we're off to the races. Now, the one thing I did mention before, and I just wanna mention it again, is sometimes you get loose wires, they're just not biting down. There you go, you can see I just pulled that one out. It's just not tight enough. So you wanna make sure that you push all your wires down, give them the little wiggle test, and just make sure everything is tight. Now, the one thing I wanna ask you all, actually, because I don't even know myself, is how does this thing go in there? And what I mean by that is, it's just sort of like, open in there and there's nothing really protecting it. And I don't know, uh, maybe if mine was missing a mount or something like that. So anyway, I just wrap it up to prevent a little bit of vibration. I don't want to put it in bubble wrap because then I think it's just going to overheat it or, you know, might cause damage or something like that. So I didn't want that. So anyway, if you have any uh, suggestions or like that, anything like that, I would just appreciate if you left those uh, in the comments. Anyway, it's all hooked up. Let's start the Vanagon up and let's see how it idles. There you have it. Okay, so let's take a look at the actual idle control valve and take it apart and look and see what we find inside. So first things first, you're gonna need a small flathead screwdriver and you sort of just gotta pry it out. It will come out, don't pry too hard or it's gonna break, but just work your way around the tabs and you will be able to pry it out and then it'll just slide out. It's actually, uh, it, it, it's not too hard and I, I was surprised nothing broke considering the age of this thing. So here's the circuit board and if you look at the circuit board, you can see we don't see anything that's burnt on the one side and this thing's actually kind of two circuit boards sort of put together. You'll see when I open them up, but first <gasps> look at this, look at that. Right there, I give it a circle, burnt area. So let's open it up. Now remember to be careful because it is old. So let's pan in and there you can see burnt transistor. Now, if you're wondering the part number, it's NTE185, I'll throw it up, that's the part number. So if you have a weird idle problem, you know what, I would check this part just to see. It's pretty easy to check and if you got a burnt transistor, you can see right there, well, most likely that's your problem. Now I'm probably gonna do another video just on uh, the repair and maybe I'll check a few other parts, but. Other than that, uh, that's it for this week. Nice, quick, straight to the point, easy video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you next week. Thanks everyone.